arm bar and crook and arm bar, a great tool for shoulder mobility. At the same time, if you're too aggressive, too much weight, try to force too much range of motion, you can actually end up tweaking or injuring the shoulder. So you want to enter this cautiously and just kind of sneak up on it over time. So all we're doing is starting as if we were going to go into a Turkish get up. Take this arm directly overhead so that as you roll onto your side, it's positioned directly over you. Bring the leg over to help anchor. And what we're not doing is keeping a vertical torso and simply bringing the arm back. We're going to keep the arm pretty much vertical and work on rotating the torso towards the floor. So we're going to get the same effect on the shoulder, but we're going to be a little safer with it. And then to go into the cricket aspect, you're just bending your elbow and you're targeting it behind your body. So we're not trying to bring it into your ribs. We're trying to target a little bit behind your body. And then in the bottom of that position, you can work on a little external rotation, simply working back and then bringing it back to a center position. When you finish straight up, roll back, roll onto your side and turn the kettlebell. So the biggest thing is a little less is always going to be better with this. So keep it gentle. Um, if you perceive it to be about a 40 to 60% stretch or intensity stretch, keep it on the lighter side. Don't force the range of motion and just allow this to develop over time.